Well, hello and welcome to Bowtie Life, where we talk mostly about life in the garden. I'm Bowtie David. We live in Destin, Florida, Zone 9B. Today we are talking a little bit more about seed starting basics for this spring of 2024. Uh, coming up will be more uh, preparation of the beds, getting ready for the year, direct sowing of some seeds. I know I'm excited about the loofah this year, and uh, more seed starts in indoors to get ready to go outdoors. Be sure to subscribe to Bowtie Life on YouTube if you have not done so already, so you don't miss a thing. Videos come out on YouTube first. For those of you who have subscribed, you are my heroes. I thank you so much for helping to make Bowtie Life what it is today. Hi, I'm Bowtie Dave. So once my seeds are in soil, I have set up this shelf in our bay window in our dining room. And I've explained in an earlier video that I started out in our new house three years ago doing this out in the Florida room. I'm sorry, that guess it was only two years ago in the Florida room and I killed a lot of plants because it was not in view. This is right in the line of traffic. I walk by here many times a day. I don't forget to take care of my seedlings. So we've got our moisture dome here on the tray of basil and hot peppers that we planted. We have a piece of aluminum foil over the solo cups with all the tomato plants in them. Aluminum foil will work just as good as say saran wrap, whatever you can find to help keep in that moisture. Basically you're just trying to keep it from evaporating because we're in an air conditioned area right now. It stays 72 to 75 degrees in here. So we're in an air conditioned area. We're just trying to keep that moisture in there a little bit longer so I don't have to water it quite as much. Now this here, this, these trays, this piece of tile right here, I have actually leveled this shelf. So this piece is actually perfectly level. I've got little wedges down here like you use when you're installing doors and windows. You can get it at any hardware store. It's a little, just a simple little wedge. Do I have an extra one? To, yeah, here we go. It's just a simple little wedge that you can get a package of them to help level things. I like these things. I have them anyway because I'm a handyman, but uh, you can use these for all kinds of stuff. So anyway, just very briefly, these do not need light right now. You notice there's no light above them. Eventually, as this spring wears on, there will be lights in here. My lights come on, I wanna say about nine o'clock or so. This window actually gets direct sunlight, so it actually gets some decent morning sun. And so this, these lights turn on first thing in the morning. These are 250 watt equivalent light bulb, LED light bulbs. They are a 5,000 Kelvin light bulb. You can see the little rating as a little panel on the side of your lights when you go by them, but it's a 250 watt equivalent light bulb. These I find is perfect for what I need. I will actually lower them when the plants are smaller. There's a chain here and I can actually lower these right down to the plant and I'll raise them up as I go. That helps keep the legginess down on my plants, but I would keep it just right above the plants as they go. So just starting out though, we're not going to need these grow lights at all. We don't even need light until green starts to show. So thank you for following along today. Very simple, short video, just briefly showing you my grow light uh, setup. I did do a whole complicated series of videos on grow lights and Kelvin and, and lumens and all that other information. I will put a link in the cards in the upper right hand corner of this video if you're on a device that receives cards. I know like Roku televisions do not do cards. That's the little letter I inside the circle up in the upper right hand corner that leads to a few other links. I will link to that playlist of lighting if you're interested in a lot more technical look at it. Uh, so as a handyman, I, I tend to go overboard in that direction. For those of you who have subscribed, I've said it before, I'll say it again. You are my heroes. You've helped make Bowtie Life what it is today. We're working to grow this channel to the next level so we can do so much more in the future. For those of you just finding Bowtie Life on YouTube for the first time, this is my own personal journal as I document everything I can going on in the garden. With my ADD brain, I've tried journaling, I've tried photography, 
I've tried uh, apps, I've tried several different ways of journaling. These videos really speak to my brain and keep me going and on task in the garden. Be sure to subscribe to Bowtie Life on YouTube so you don't miss a thing happening as we document all the important events that are going on. Another way you can help is click thumbs up on this video and share it on your social media pages with friends who might be getting excited about starting their new gardens for the year. Y'all have a blessed day. Thank mm -hmm. you.